Hi friends. It is a new day. I'm excited because as you can see behind me and probably from the title of this video somewhere, your girl is going to be juicing for maybe about a week. It depends on how much juice I get. I'm shooting for a week, could be four days. Now, this is not gonna be your typical three day cleanse, seven day cleanse type of situation because one, I wanna keep my protein up. I'm in body recomp right now and I wanna keep my thickness, not the fat, but the muscles. My thought is I would still get one to two meals a day. A light meal in the morning, meal in the afternoon, and the rest juicing in between. Almost like OMAD. I'm not gonna deprive myself. Um, I'm gonna shoot for juicing first. If that don't work, I'm gonna eat. My goal is to see if that works works in a sense of still losing inches on my body just based off of how i feel if i feel like i can mostly juice i'ma juice if i don't feel like i can juice i'ma eat so i'ma see how it goes and kind of go from there now this is kind of everything i got in a nutshell as you can see it's pears apples celery beets cucumbers lemon spinach carrots, ginger, and a watermelon. I also got a big bag of kale. Now, I'm not the most, if you have not realized already, if you are new to my channel, I'm not the most formal person. I'm just myself, I ain't got nothing to prove to nobody, and you take it or you leave it kind of thing. But I kind of prep some of these, but everything I'm not prepping. I'm not finna waste my time, I, I, it's just whatever. If, if it didn't work out by now, it won't. I rent some and keep it pushing. Like, judge me, don't judge me, don't really give up. That's kind of what we're doing. My goal, I did write down kind of a general ballpark of what I want to do. I want a green juice, a beet juice, and a pineapple juice. And probably remixing in between. I did end up getting this Amazon bottles. This was looking like, come on autofocus. There it is right there if you are interested. But essentially it's just these bottles that come with caps and also like a bottle cleaner. And it come with a funnel. And oh, they're labeled. Ah, that's pretty dope. I don't think I'm gonna use them, but that's dope. My goal for the video is just Essentially, just record how I feel and kind of see how things go at the end of the week. See if I still am making progress because I still plan on going to the gym hard, which is another reason why I don't want to only juice because I know juicing, one, causes you to lose muscle mass, and two, you need food for energy and i am going to the gym right now between the gym and doing hiking trails about four to five times a week so we're gonna get right into that thing now listen right before i get into juicing i have made a juice earlier one juice because i needed to start eating something drinking something and i wanted to start my juicing today which is the reason why i'm trying to get into it right now because i need juice so when you look at my juicer, it's going to be not as clean. And that's because I prepped one not too long ago and juiced. So I tried to rinse a little bit, but just know it's not gonna be free. Thought I met you at the wrong time. Then you caught me on that one night. Girl, I wanna know how this thing get out of my controls. Zip line into your timeline. Hey, that body don't lie. I didn't care for the hype, yeah. But when I saw you tonight, ooh, girl, you know just what you do. And I'll go a thousand miles to show you that I'm right for your love. Hey, keep breaking necks when you passing them by. Make sure they know that you take and love in your vibe. Let's be forever tonight. And I will let you make up your mind. Y'all, give me some advice on how to do the kale. Here's the green juice so far. Let me see if I can get a thumbnail. Now, bet I should let y'all know. I have juiced before. I even did the cayenne lemon 
thing. I wonder if I should try that again. Let me know if y'all want to see that. But I have did the Cayenne Lemon Beyonce Master Cleanse before, but se like seven, eight, nine years ago. I feel like my willpower is a lot better. That's an assumption. If you're curious, I'm kind of batch juicing, so it will save me time. But let's grab a bottle and see how much this container fills up. Let's see. So this is pretty much two drinks. And I think these are like 12 ounce bottles, if I'm not mistaken. And my idea is to drink whenever I'm hungry. I'm not gonna starve myself. I'm not gonna limit myself to six drinks. I don't even think I would actually need six drinks, but you know. And with these lids, these are kind of lids that lock it in place and seal it. These are disposable. You see how it made that sound? So I got two green drinks. And all together, I don't think I mentioned before, all together, I spent like $70 on fruit. I am getting ready to peel this beet and look how much it's stained. It is staining everything. <sighs> right now I'm working on the, I'm kind of throwing everything together at this point. Like I have no rhyme or reason. I'm just putting stuff in and see how it tastes. I had a rhyme or reason, but it didn't. I put some of the beets already in there. It was supposed to be a carrot juice. Now it looks like a dragon fruit. Let me try this section. Mmm. Mmm. I might have did something, y'all. I put carrot, pineapple juice, ginger, celery, lemon, and beet. That's pretty good, y'all. Y'all should know that I'm not the aesthetics girl. But all the girls, I hear them already. I will be taking these immunity shots, probiotic shots every day in the morning. I already took one this morning. It was a guava and blood orange. That was really good. Quickly, this is the Spanish mango I have, ginger cayenne, passion fruit, watermelon, strawberry, this blue one right here. Oh, coconut lime. Hmm? Yes. Why y'all ain't tell me how much time it takes to juice? It's been an hour and a half and I'm still cutting up fruit. But this is the watermelon and pineapple at this point. I mix so many things together. It's just a concoction. What was the point of the recipe research? I just went off my taste buds and just went there with it. I got these bottles, it's two, four, six, eight, ten, and one container. Um, I do have two bottles left, but I want to put the watermelon pineapple one together. One thing I realized after the fact and not early enough is that to check to see if some of the fruit was even ready to be, you know, cut up and eaten. Watermelon wasn't quite as sweet as it should be, but either way, I'm not a watermelon fan, so it really matters. So this is about what I got from the drinks last night. I actually strained this, but I guess the sediment has it's gone now. And this is probably about three, two or three, about two and a half, three bottles. And then I have these that are freezing because I wasn't sure about when I would drink them, so I have them freezing. Get the rug, get the rug. What's this for again? Oh, the guy. Oh, that would brighten my eyes. Okay, if it wasn't spicy, it probably wouldn't be that bad. No, I'm lying. <laughs> I'm tired. That whole juicing thing was a lie. And I was ill-informed. I swear it took me all of two and a half hours to juice. Why are you so low? Hold on. I realized that my juicer sucks. That it's not a good juicer. That it's not pulling as much of the juice as it probably would have if I had a better quality juicer. Now that juicer... I bought years ago and I just had that on hand and I only used it 
a couple of times and then never really used it again because I used it when I was actually doing another uh, juice cleanse. But I started to understand when I started to throw the trash fruit away that it was very, very, very wet, which lets me know that that fruit and vegetables should have extracted way more juice than what I actually got because in the end, I think I got like 15 bottles. I think it should have been more than that. And I had three bags of apples. I, de I didn't use all three, but I definitely used, look, this is what's left of the third bag of apples. That feels wild to me. I also used five pineapples. Five pineapples, two and a half bags of apples. I had oranges, lemons. I did the whole thing of lemons, a whole bag of lemons. I had, I feel like I had a lot of vegetables and fruits that should have gave more. It's, and I had a whole small watermelon. I'm mad that it took me into almost completing the entire thing to realize that. I don't think this is gonna go as long as I hope because most people do about six bottles a day. If I did six bottles a day, that'd be like two and a half days. And that's not enough to not even. If you know how I feel, why would you? But I actually went to the gym last night, the one that I showed in the previous video. And it was giving creepy vibes because it was dead. But then there was cars in the parking lot. And then this guy coming in, giving Jeffrey. So I was like, yeah, I'm out. So I ended up going 20 minutes away to go to my fitness gym. And I stayed there till about 1.15. But let me make my coffee. I just thought about something. If you ever are like a Keurig lover, I'm here to let you know that this one is different from all the rest of the Keurig. If you had an old fashioned Keurig and it doesn't have this, it's not the same. It is not the same. I have bought old Keurig. It did not taste the same as when I make it on this. This is the Keurig Supreme Plus Smart. This is the one that if you put everything in the day before, you can actually use an app to make your coffee. I guarantee that if you test this out and you like Keurig, you, you would like Keurig all over again. It is not the same. Dang. I am looking into a latte maker, so if you know a good one, let me know. It is currently 11 o'clock on the dot. 11. And I'm starving. And I so badly want to eat, but I'm going to try to drink the juice first. I've kind of been sipping on water, but that's just not work. If you see this light, it's because i obviously been doing my hair. I can't even tell you the flavor because, as you know, I did whatever. <laughs> so it's this little peachy one, so we're going to go with that. Let's give it a taste test. Did I tell you I strained this? That's good. Too bad I don't know what I did because it's really good. That's a little bit too good, and I'm already this. I don't really know what I want to do because I feel like I'm going to drink through this and still be starving. So I'm gonna check back in once I finish this because I might either need another bottle or maybe I just need to eat something. Because the way I feel hungry, this ain't gonna work. It's 11.03 right now, so let me check back in. I'm gonna try to combat it with some water. I do have my infamous, at this point, Gatorade bottle. I'm gonna give myself a limit. I'm gonna drink all this. This is about this full. I'm gonna drink this and this, see how I feel. If I'm still hungry, maybe grab another bottle. If not, I'm gonna eat. So, I was watching this video on um, Jackie Jacqueline Hill, and she's starting this weight loss journey, and this is crazy. So I recently weighed myself. I guess we can go ahead and do that together. So you can see, I'm telling the truth. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. So as you can see, the scale says two 
100.9. When I kind of started this progress, I was like almost 202 pounds. So I lost about two pounds, but I lost more inches as pounds. If you've seen the last video, you would know this. But I was watching Jacqueline Hill, cause she's on a weight loss journey. I don't know if she's lost the weight or whatever, but it's something about when you're going through something, you wanna see somebody going through it too. And this is the reason why I started documenting um, all this. But I'm looking at her, she just weighed herself. No shade, no tea, cause it does not matter. But this is how I know and I've kind of gone through this my whole life, by the way. This is how I know that my body weight does not matter as much because I feel like I have a, a larger muscle mass than actual fat. Because when I look at people who are 200 pounds or whatever, in comparison to me, they look different. They look a lot heavier. I feel like even on camera, I look a lot heavier than what I look like in person. And I have people in my real life that I've been around that I weigh more than, but I'm smaller than them. So I wanna show you, this is Jacqueline Hill. As you can see, she just weighed herself. Not saying she's huge, cause she's not huge. Don't get me wrong, just because I face around doesn't mean she's huge, cause she's not. And that shows in some kind of way because when she weighed herself when she weighed herself she is 177 pounds she looks or yeah she looks in comparison to me this lets you know that everyone's body isn't the same and you can't treat it the same way i feel like what i was trying to say wasn't coming out properly but what i was trying to say that basically i am 23 pounds heavier than jacqueline hill jacqueline hill is 177 i'm 200 pounds we actually look comparable in my opinion to each other and I'm 23 pounds heavier than her. So I was just basically saying that you can't really look at people's weight as much because in my opinion, in my personal body, I feel like I'm not gonna always be heavier. If she gets the 160, 150 pounds, if I was to do the same thing, I would be really, really, really small. I wasn't trying to say anything bad about her or bash her. I think she is beautiful. I understand and relate to her that she wants to lose weight because she's not happy with herself. I'm not happy happy with myself but I'm using her as an example a visual example of how body can be different but look actually the same so anyway I just wanted to kind of show that but finish this let me see what that was too good It's been a little minute because I got to make up, different outfit, <laughs> hair is done. This is literally the same as that day. I know I just look like three different people. I put on makeup because one, I knew I needed a thumbnail and plus my hair was done so I was feeling a lot cuter. But anyway, um, I had another green juice and I'm almost done with that. It's only 3.44 and I'm really, really hungry still. I do not think that these juices that can keep me going and fueled because I kind of want another juice even after and that's not enough. So I'm definitely gonna eat. I'm gonna go ahead and make me a chicken and rice bowl. I just discovered that I shouldn't be eating as much rice as I'm eating. I eat rice like what cup maybe two every day is that bad that could be stalling me i don't know please let me know down in the comments but i usually get this these uh minute rice cups and i have one to two of these a day there are 230 calories but it has four grams of protein so that's pretty good from my understanding as long as you in the calorie thing 
it shouldn't matter i put it into the my fitness pal and it stays in between all the calories i should be staying in between so four o'clock in my first meal it's probably been all of five minutes and i scarfed that down i was so hungry the sad part is is that i'm still hungry so now i'm in debate if i should get a rice cake or try some juice <sighs> i'm sitting here it is currently around six something i don't even know and i'm struggling i I am struggling. I never thought it could be difficult. I feel like this is not enough. I just discovered smoothie cleanses and I wish I would have done that instead because I probably would have wasted way less fruits and vegetables. But I feel like this is definitely something that's not sustainable. This, I could drink that whole thing right now. What am I gonna do? Good morning, friend. Last night was a struggle. <laughs> I mean, really towards the end of the night or the afternoon, it was a complete struggle. I don't know why I was so hungry. I don't know if it's like a mental thing where it's like, you know, you're trying to do something. So your body tells you you need to do that something that you're not supposed to do. But I was seriously hungry. What I ended up doing last night was I had another coffee to try to combat the hunger that it, that did help but i end up having honestly four rice cakes it was the white cheddar ones they're about 50 calories a piece so about 200 calories i don't remember entirely what i had oh i had a, a half of a juice and i stopped myself today's a new day and it is 11 21 and i only had a coffee so now i'm about to pour into some of this juice and oh i didn't take my immunity okay so let's see which one we're gonna do today we have the pineapple orange is that one for energy watermelon strawberry no because i got a lot of juice that flavor passion fruit that sounds pretty good and then we have this one says energy let's do this one this is energy mango spinach so let's do that that's an interesting flavor it's not nasty. I know my face probably says it's disgusting. It kind of got a medicine aftertaste. This is how much I have out of two bottles of this. So this is how much I drank last night before I stopped. I put it back in the refrigerator. I did take a couple out of the freezer. Three just in case. I'll check back in when I get hungry. Most likely if I end up still being hungry, I'm gonna make a protein smoothie, the same one I made yesterday. All right, y'all, so it is currently 1.18, and I drank all my juice and I kinda am in a place where I'm getting hungry. So right now, what I am doing is making some viral smoothie that's supposed to be healthy. It is bananas protein powder, coffee, and honey. Let me get that. Cause then it says peanut butter as well. I don't know, I'm just eyeballing. Tablespoon of peanut butter, whatever. Y'all know a tablespoon of peanut butter is 200 calories. Two tablespoons is 200 calories. So one is 100 calories. That's kind of wild to me. So I got my honey. The protein, the frozen banana, the peanut butter, and then it wants coffee. This should be interesting. Obviously, I just made it. Really want to dilute it, so I got these uh, reusable ice cubes to kind of make it uh, not as hot, so I can pour it into the blender without melting stuff. If y'all try using reusable ice cubes to not dilute your drinks it's a waste of money it really is and then i believe that's it in ice probably put too much liquid but oh well let's give it a taste test i don't know what to expect but i needed some caffeine to make sure i keep going It 
it's okay. It's only okay because it has like a chocolatey undertone and I don't like that. But I can still drink it. I kind of want to add oatmeal to it. To combat that, I'm going to put some cinnamon sugar. That's killing the, the tone of that chocolate. I only put um, the oatmeal in it because I want to fill my hunger. But let's see how it does with my energy because I need some coffee for a boost. See you if I eat or drink anything else. It's actually a while later. I know I probably look different because I put on makeup. I am getting ready to finish this. This is my second bottle, I believe. And I'm gonna go ahead and make me some dinner. I think the same thing I already showed, but it is about that time and I'm a little bored, but my makeup's done because this is like testing out bridal makeup for the wedding that I'm in. So I'm trying to see if this is the look that I wanna do, but I'm gonna go ahead and make something to eat. I am starting to get hungry, but today is definitely a lot better than day one. For sure. I think I'm getting through it. So let me go ahead and make me the chicken and rice. Eat that. And finish this little bit of drink. And then we'll see how long this lasts. The end. Towards the end of day two. Alrighty then. Let's shut that. So you can see me. I am washing dishes. But it is currently 110. And this is day number three in my little fast situation excuse my edges don't worry about none of that i am currently getting ready to make a ghetto version of the chili onion crunch if you don't know about it it's like all over tiktok just look it up but basically you're supposed to use bell peppers and cucumbers is the main source of this situation but i was too ghetto to keep some of my cucumbers from the whole juicing situation so i only got the bell peppers so i forgot and i'm not gonna go to the store to get cucumbers it's not that deep for me so it's just gonna be everything without the cucumber also i did have an immunity drink and i think those immune not immunity the energy shop things from in the morning give me energy the one that says energy because the last yesterday and today i've been like productive I'm already um, almost done with a video. I got up at seven o'clock this morning. I did have coffee and I did have one juice. Like I said, it's one o'clock and I attempted to make me a green apple spinach smoothie situation, but then it was like chunky. And so I don't have no ice right now because I didn't make any. So I decided to put it in the freezer. Let me show you what it looks like. Put it in the freezer in hopes of it becoming like an ice cream because it has milk and yogurt in it you kind of see it it's starting to yeah it's starting to ice up i don't think it's gonna be creamy for some reason i think it's just gonna be like frozen milk i should have probably looked up how to make it like ice creamish i don't know but i already had one drink and last night i ended up drinking a lot of that container of the uh, large jar and this is what's left that's what i was looking at of that i put it in here i only have that container and one more bottle of juice and because i couldn't drink the smoothie thing like i wanted to and i don't have ice to make my protein smoothie i have to revert to basically making this so i can eat something because i'm starting to get hungry i've been i ate like three rice cakes now you would be proud because i have noticed some changes in my body and no, I haven't really been working out. And I love that for me. Um, so now I'm making basically a bell pepper salad. <laughs> and we gonna make it work. Oh my throat on your mind. Him no make you happy. No. Him no make you feel like I do. Turn in my way. Yeah. I can feel you warming up to me. Oh, think I got a shot like a free throw. Red up in the game with no Chico. Girl, you took my heart like a repo. Oh, all these other girls not even close. Something's telling me that she knows. Oh, stuck in my mind. 
Today is day four of the juice cleanse and I'm really disappointed in myself as far as I ain't make no ice. You know, yesterday I believe I filmed it that I attempted to make a kind of ice cream smoothie bucket situation since I have no ice and I ain't made no more ice. Dumb. So the ice cream thing situation did not work out. So this morning I ended up blending it and because it was icy cold, I made it in a smoothie. So let's try it. I can drink this. There's nothing you get a taste for, but it's good. Kind of bland a little bit. There's no sugar, no nothing, but it works. This might be the last day of the juice cleanse because I only have five bottles left. So it's potential that I would uh, be able to get another day out of it depending especially if I have ice but I don't know I have had the morning immunity drink which was a straw strawberry watermelon I already drank half of this this is kind of like the end of that night that I showed you last night I ended up being really really hungry so I had like two rice cake I end up having the rice and chicken I'm gonna be making the ice while we talk I know it's dark in here but I don't want to open no lights because I just don't want to. And I didn't even eat it all, look. I decided because I wasn't sure that I even just ate half of it. Like this is how much and it had one more half. That's not even a lot. And I had a cup of rice cakes and then I had a juice. I'm trying to figure out a good calorie balance. I have been losing weight. I checked myself the other day, not today. Cause I felt honestly bigger today for some reason. But I checked myself and I was 199 pounds yesterday. Right now, I have my goal calories set to 1700. Then I hear some people talking about 1200 calories, but 1200 calories seems like rude. So day four, so far it's all right. I am getting hungry. So I'm trying to combat that with the smoothie. I didn't make the ice. I was hoping to do a lot of smoothies today instead of trying to eat. But since I'm making the ice right now, I don't know if that's gonna work. So I might end up eating. I might. <laughs> I'll let y'all know if I do. So I am feeling, it's it's probably like 12, it's 1217. I, I am feeling a little annoyed, a little aggravated. And I'm just being honest, I'm about to make me something to eat. For one, it just seems stupid, like, eat, girl. Because I'm drinking the juices mostly, mostly eating one, maybe one and a half meals a day. Outside of that, I'm having the juices. Then when I weigh myself, I feel like it weighs more now than it generally does when I'm having two to three meals a day. Like I just got on the scale and it said 201.9. Now I have noticed with me and I don't know how it's possible, but on my scale particularly after I like go poop and I just did and I noticed that my scale goes up higher. Yesterday it was 199, almost 198 and then today I'm 201.9. And in this whole process, I haven't seen really much of a change. I seen physical change. Now, two days ago, I'm not gonna lie, my body was looking like giving me motivation. But I feel like, why am I so keen on not eating if I'm still gonna be going through the same like weight motions? And I have measured myself too. And my measurement is roughly the same. And it's four days now that I've been doing this. So I feel like, Whatever, like, I'm gonna eat. I'm about to, I'm not about to indulge, but I'm about to make me some pancakes 
and some eggs what i usually eat when i'm about to work out anyway i do plan on going to the gym today not for a while out but it's like why am i so keen on mostly juice throughout the day i only had yesterday the vegetable bowl you see how much that was it was roughly like a a handful and a half and then I had half that thing later on outside of that it's just been juices and I think I attempted to have that green smoothie yesterday that didn't work out so I had two juices and two cups of coffee that's all I had and that's roughly what it's been I didn't even have the vegetables prior so I had each night I've had chicken and rice honestly before juicing I had did more um rice some days where I would eat rice twice a day and I felt like I made more progress. I'm finna just focus on being healthy because partial part of my problem prior to even this whole weight loss journey was that I wasn't eating enough and I felt like that was contributing to me not losing weight and I feel like that's kind of what's starting to happen. I don't want no parts of that. So I think I am going to rearrange this whole juice thing. I don't think it's working for me how I'm doing it. Even outside before I weighed myself, I noticed my stomach. I'm like, why do I look bigger today? Like I said, Thursday I do have the doctor's appointment so I will be talking to her about it. Thing, I even juiced for two months and only lost 10 pounds. I'm still gonna drink my juices cause I paid for them. But I feel like I made more progress eating more and just eating healthy and eating clean and eating more often and snacking more than doing this whole juice thing. I just feel, I'm starting to feel like this juice thing was a waste of time and it could just be my emotions but I think this is gonna be it so <sighs> sorry <laughs>